Welcome back. Bharti Airtel will be reporting their Q2 numbers post market hours. This is a stock which has done very well. It's up 60% since the beginning of the year. Now expect a strong quarter for Bharti Airtel this time. Uh, we'll put up the consolidated numbers first and then I'll explain what will drive that. So on the top line, a 6% revenue growth quarter on quarter, margin expansion to 53% and profit numbers closer to 4,350. As I said, expect a strong quarter because the India wireless business, the mobile business of India, which is 60% of the company's revenues and EBITDA uh, has undertaken, will be boosted by the tariff hikes. The company undertook a tariff hike of nearly 15% in early July. So July, August, September will see a benefit of that. So if you look at the top line growth of 6%, it will be driven by a 10% quarter on quarter jump in the India wireless business. Even the EBITDA margin expansion is largely driven by the India wireless performance. The ARPU, which is a representation of the tariff hike, average revenue per user, that's also seen expanding by nearly 10%. Subscriber growth, though, may moderate a bit or according to some analysts, could remain flat. We saw that in the case of Reliance Geo 2, that there was a strong ARPU expansion, pricing expansion, but subscriber growth moderated. In fact, they declined on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. So that's something you need to track. And remember, Airtel Africa has already reported their numbers. So that's about 20-30% of their revenues in EBITDA. So that is out of the way. The focus is on the India wireless and a strong quarter expected, largely on account of the tariff hikes undertaken by them. Okay, so tariff hikes to the rescue this time. That's about Bharti Airtel, but Sun.